I ask you, why do you love each other and why will you continue to love each other? Alicia, you wrote, I love how Robbie makes me feel when I'm with him. He challenges me to be a better person, makes me feel beautiful, confident, and constantly makes me laugh. We have so much fun together, whether it's just relaxing at home or going on a trip. He's always thinking of exciting and romantic things to do together. I also love him, uh, love him for loving me for who I am. Robbie, you answered the same question writing. I think the foundation of any good relationship is a strong partnership, and I believe that's what Alicia and I have in ours. It took two years of a growing friendship. As luck would have it, we complement each other well, and so often we are on the exact same page. While the challenges Elise and I, Alicia and I have faced pale in comparison to those who have come before, we're still holding hands. <laughs> Together, we can take on so much more than we had ever dreamed. That's what I love. I ask, what are your individual qualities that each partner possesses that augment and strengthen your union? Alicia, you wrote, we both know the importance of laughter and joy. Robbie's really funny and knows how to make me laugh even when I don't want to. I look for joy in all situations, try to see the bright side of things, and always have a motivational phrase to push us through tough times. <laughs> Together we help one another when things are tough, and we celebrate with one another when it's a joyous occasion. And one final snippet from your beautiful answers. I asked you, what are your strengths as a couple? And Robbie, you wrote, we can definitely belt out a tune on long car rides. <laughs> we have the ability to see all of Rome in one day, veg out on Friday evenings watching movies and ordering in food. One of our first inside jokes was how we we're always on the same page because we had a tendency to agree on everything. In the Torah portion this morning, that prophet I mentioned, he stood and he witnessed the Israelites as they stood in their tents, their dwelling places. And he was awed into these words of blessing, saying, how beautiful is that dwelling place. Alicia, Robbie, when all of us here, these family, these friends, your community, stand here to witness you in this tent of yours, your kupa, we're awed into words of blessing. How beautiful is this moment and this dwelling place because of the two of you, your words, your love, and your joy. May you never forget the journey which brought you here and strengthen your ties and strengthens your ties to one another. May you remember to look back on this tent, this kupa, and feel the beauty of the day you created. May you always feel the blessing of your friends, your family, and most of all each other, as today you become, you become husband and wife. May it be God's will, and let us all say, Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, is another form of amen. Baruch atan anayelim pri hagaf, and we praise you, eternal our God, rule of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Share from the safe cup. Okay. You get a drink it. You lose some freedom, though. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with meat's boat and consecrates this marriage. We praise you, Adonai, our God, who sanctifies our people, Israel, from Kiddushin, the sacred rite of marriage at this Kupa. Does someone have the rings? Good work. Good work. Okay, Robbie, if you will take Alicia's ring, which I'm having trouble separating. The small one, yeah. Yeah, I got that. Better motor skills than me. Probably this one. And if you will place it in the finger, which she's going to take charge and tell me what to do. Probably. <laughs> that would be this one. And repeat this vow in Hebrew and English. I'll start in Hebrew. Hare at. Hare at. Look at her though, you're marrying her, not me. Hooray, ah. Uh. <laughs> Mikudeshet Lee. Mikudeshet Lee. Betaba Atzo. Betaba Atzo. Kadat. Kadat. Moshe. Moshe. Be Israel. Be Israel. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. In keeping with. In keeping with. The heritage of. The heritage of. Moses. Moses. And Israel. And Israel. Alicia, if you'll take his ring, put it on him. And if you look at him, 
and repeat these words after me. Hare ata. Hare ata. Mikudash li. Mikudash li. Bitaba atzo. Bitaba atzo. Kadat. Kadat. Moshe. Moshe. Be Israel. Be Israel. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my husband. As my husband. In keeping with. In keeping with. The heritage. The heritage. Of Moses. Of Moses. And all of Israel. And all Israel. As we all know, there's tough times. Tough times that you may have experienced and tough times that lots of people experience. Brokenness that you're about to symbolize with the brokenness of this class. With your love and the foundations of your friendship and the relationship you've built together, you've shown that we can put together the pieces of the glass a little bit. It's not ever gonna be exactly the same, but we can work through it. If we just only take some of this light, some of this love, if we walk away with it, and then we can go on and fix a lot of the brokenness in this world, if we can just learn from some of the strength that you two show in your relationship. So in a moment, I'm gonna put this down. You're gonna wait till I remove my hand, please. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Mazel tov! <laughs> I mean, after this, you have to be right.